and she swoops to conquer. Foster, the escaped vulture, is finally captured. This is BBC News 24. I'm Chris Lowe. And I'm Anna Jones. Good evening. The Home Secretary, David Blunkett, has acknowledged that James Bulger's killers could face real dangers after their release. Mr Blunkett said he was worried about the tense atmosphere since the announcement that Robert Thompson and John Venables would be released after eight years in custody. It's prompted James's father, Ralph, to call for a time of reflection. James Bulger was remembered in prayers across Merseyside today. There were also words of forgiveness, but that may prove difficult when so many people oppose his killer's release. Concerns about the safety of John Venables and Robert Thompson prompted the new Home Secretary to appeal for calm. I think we all need to take a deep breath and to view what is said and done as we would view it if it were taking place in any other country. We're not in uh, the, the, the Midwest in the mid-19th century. We're in Britain in the 21st century. We'll deal with things effectively uh, and we'll deal with them in a civilised manner. He's referring partly to the media coverage about the risks to the teenagers. One paper quotes Venable's mother fearing he could be killed by vigilantes within a month. But others blame the public outcry on the judge who decided that the teenagers were ready to be considered for release. Many members of the public in this country believe that justice hasn't been done, and I too believe justice hasn't been done. And Lord Chief Justice Wolfe has basically put the lives of Venables and Thompson at much greater risk now than he would have done had they served the tariff for, say, another three or four years. The Home Office says the level of protection given to Thompson and Venables will be...